Mia Khalifa's life was saved by her good old fashioned breast implants. Yeah, the woman nearly died after being hit by a flying hockey puck. How Canadian. Now Jordan Woods, her red table talk is going live today and Jordan Woods wants to clear up a few rumors. One that she was sober during the hookup and well, she's pretty scared as hell of them Kardashians. Chloe had some mean things to say via Twitter. Black boy JB joins a long list of rappers getting arrested in 2019. We've actually been keeping a tally and he's unlucky number 13. XXX Tentacion, his estate is being sued by former collaborator and music producer Jimmy Duvall. That guy's getting a lot of hate online. We'll have all this and more in just a second. I'm in the hospital. You lie so much to send the location. I'm number one. What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCrudden and welcome back to Famous News. Now I don't know what the hell is going on but you guys seem to be uh, enjoying a lot of mashed potatoes down in the comments. Can someone please explain to me what the hell is going on? I'd love to know. You can DM me at McCruddenM via Instagram and uh, today's episode was brought to you by our good friends over at Candy Pants. So uh, well, let's get into the news. Oh, it's way better. All right, so Jordan Woods, her red table talk, it dropped on Facebook today. It's not out just yet, but there's a lot of rumors already circulating on what she said. Now in the interview, Jordan, she admits that she wasn't blackout drunk when she hooked up with Tristan and that, uh, well, she's taking full responsibility for what she did. Now if you want the dirty details, well, Tristan and Jordan, they were hanging out with Drake and his crew. And as the night continued, well, Jordan and Tristan, they were, uh, they were smiling, they were laughing, they were certainly hitting it off. Then Tristan, he invited a small group to go back to his house for a little more of an intimate party. Now she's using this interview to apologize to Khloe Kardashian and the rest of the family. And uh, well, she might be out with the K's, but she's got new friends with the Smiths, which is kind of an upgrade. Now this is uh, actually just a breaking news update. We have Khloe Kardashian on Twitter who wrote, why are you lying Jordan Woods? If you're gonna try and save yourself by going public instead of calling me privately to apologize first, well, at least be honest about your story. By the way, you are the reason my family broke up. Oh! Maybe I should make a versus. All right, so there's more family drama for the Kardashians with some cheating allegations causing some problems for good old Kylie and Travis Scott. Now the man he was set to perform earlier this week in good old Buffalo, New York, the hometown of Jenna Marbles and uh, the biggest dirtbag on YouTube. Also Harvey Weinstein, the biggest dirtbag in Hollywood. Anyway, Travis Scott, he got the hell out of Dodge. He went back to LA because he needed to shoot down these rumors and take care of business. Now apparently Kylie found some sort of evidence that Travis was pulling a Tristan Thompson. The man be cheating. Now Travis, he has denied any allegations and him canceling his show in Buffalo, that set him back a cool 400,000 K. So it is amazing to see him putting family first. Now it makes you wonder what kind of evidence Kylie may have come across. I mean, uh, people do mistake Travis for ASAP Rocky. So perhaps there was some like ASAP Rocky photos that slid into her DMs. You know ASAP Rocky be getting it in. Also there is that guy out there who impersonates Travis Scott. So maybe he's back on the job. You never know. Mia Khalifa is sporting a repaired set of knockers thanks to work done by Dr. Jay Calvert and he's also the host of the Dr. Hockey podcast. And on there, well, they talked about the whole operation and the incident. These were good implants. Yes, they're, they were. They're hockey safe. Uh, yeah. you know, right. It's sort of like a Wolverine <laughs> kind of moment, right? You yeah. know, instead of putting like, you know, some titanium metal on the ribs, you get a breast implant. It's oh good. My God. The story goes that last May during a Stanley Cup playoffs game, well, Mia, she got hit by a stray puck that was going 80 miles per hour. Now, the doctor believes that if she didn't have implants, her lung would have been fractured and her ribs would have been shattered. Now, since the accident, she's been living with an uneven set. Now I'm happy to hear that she's alive and well. Also, you know, she's she's got a new set of gummies. Good for her. And uh, without Mia Khalifa, well, I just don't know what I'd do with my life. <laughs> Is that a joke? I'm not sure. Now we have a full link to their podcast talk where they, you know, go into more detail, so you can check that out down below. Now Block Boy JB, he was arrested on drugs and weapons charges in Memphis, Tennessee. This happened just yesterday. Now there was a warrant out for this man's arrest. He was wanted for charges of possession of drugs and drug paraphernalia and being a convicted felon in possession of a handgun. Also theft of some property. Now he turned himself in and he is on bond. It's set at $50,000. Now perhaps if he gets some money out of Fortnite who stole his dance to shoot, perhaps he'll get out of prison. 
But for now, well, he's kind of up shit's creek. Now this joins a long list of rappers that have been arrested in 2019. I'm talking 21 Savage, R. Kelly, Lil Pump, Blueface, NBA Youngboy, YNW Melly, Lil Baby, Young Nudie, Chris Brown, Tory Lanez, Young Thug, Lil Duvall, 6 9 I guess that's a 2018 story, but it still fits in. It really looks like there's been a crackdown on all these rappers. They've been getting away with so much, they've been having so much success, and the police are looking into all their uh, illegal affairs. I wanna actually like investigate this, so let me know if you want me to make a standalone video detailing all these arrests, their charges, and what I think the conspiracy is. Now we gotta get into XXX on his estate is being sued, but before we do that, I gotta tell you about my friends over at Candy Pens. Plus, it looks like it's kinda a little smoky in here. You've all heard of Candy Pens, right? Well, if the name doesn't ring a bell, I got a good feeling you've seen them before. Now, Candy Pens was named Best Vaporizer of 2018 by High Times due to its combination of popular technology and flashy design. And Candy Pens, well, they've quickly become the go-to choice for vaping in the hip-hop and rap community. They've got some co-signs from DJ Khaled, Fatboy SSE, Young M.A., and Amber Rose. Even the one and only ASAP Rocky, yeah. He's got his own signature line called the Flacco Jody Collection. Now Candy Pens has actually made me their YouTube ambassador, the one and only, and they've given me the ability to get you 25% off your entire order. Yeah, there's a link down below. Also use the promo code BTWF25, get some money back, enjoy your vaping. Remember Candy Pens are for those 18 years and older. Now the XXX Tentacion Estate, which is run by his mother, it's being sued by former collaborator and music producer Jimmy Duvall for $1 million. Now he's looking for royalties for his work on the track, Look At Me. Now this man looking for a payout of that much money for work from 2015, it's obviously catching him a lot of heat. You know, this is really the last thing his family needs at this time. Uh, but the man does cite himself as being a friend. He did work on the project. He just wants what he calls his fare. He also sports an XXX Tentacion tattoo covering one of his arms. So, you know, he is a true fan. I don't know, it's kind of a sticky situation. The guy did get left off the credits. He should be getting some money. Let me know how you feel about this one in the comments down below. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. All right, moving on to what's trending on YouTube. Well, we have Offset sitting down with Hot Ones and he's giving you that Ric Flair drip. He was like, that just gave him more drive and more drive and more drive. And it was inspirational to me because that's, you look up to Ric Flair. Ric Flair was the first one with these, with these Rolexes and these jets. Lady Gaga, she opened up on whether or not she was in love with Bradley Cooper. I, I, I you know, I thought she, maybe she was. Him, not so much. Just, that's my opinion. I've had my arms wrapped around Tony Bennett for three years tour touring the world. I mean, like, when you're singing love songs, that's what you want people to feel. Are you having an affair with Tony Bennett? Be honest. <laughs> Now, despite her recent breakup from her fiance, she does have a new man with her, and that is her Oscar. She brought it with her in a carry-along purse. Pretty cute. Now, following her collaboration with James Charles, which went viral, of course, well, Jenna Marbles, she got to work on making a hideous jeans chair. I don't know. It was $140, which I will never get back. Don't you sabotage me like this. You watched me toil over the creation of this chair. We got the Dark Phoenix trailer for the next installment of the X-Men franchise. Ugh, Dark Phoenix, it's it's never been my fave. I'm not giving up on you, Jean. She was my friend. You're my family, Jean. Stop, no matter what. Stop, stop, stop! Seriously, Jean Grey, Dark Phoenix, I hated it in the comics, I hated it in the original X-Men trilogy. I wish they could have just skipped over this. Although, uh, Jennifer Lawrence's mystique, she's looking a little new and fresh. Also, Beast, he's getting older. That's kind of cool. All right, wrapping things up with who to follow and who's next. Now with who to follow, I want to shout out those of you who reach out to me in the DMs. And I got a pretty sweet email from a couple that's from Hawaii, but they're living in Las Vegas. They've started their own ASMR channel. They also do mukbangs and they are known as Simi and Brit. Their channel is SNB ASMR. Welcome back to our channel. It's kind of late here, um, but some late night cravings. Uh, so we got some macarons here. Now the channel only has 50 subs at the time of this recording. They've only got a handful of views, but it's a young couple trying to get going. So go and show them some love. Now with who's next, we got Zilkemi. Zilkemi? Uh, this is a rapper, he's out of New York. He used to work with 6 9 but now he's a regular collaborator with Susmula, and he's got a bunch of tracks on World Star Hip Hop with millions and millions of plays. Now, uh, we've been getting tons of tracks to do it before they were famous on this man, so I'm gonna get Jeremy or myself to start working on that. God, there's no rest for the wicked. 
All right, guys, I'm wrapping up this video here. My name is Michael Krett. Thanks for checking this out. Thank you to Candy Pens for sponsoring this video. Without their help, we couldn't make as much content as we do. Love you guys. I'll see you in another video. Boom! I wish I could vape more. It's just I like, talk so fast. Oh, it's the best.